Hey guys, and welcome to the video. So we are here in the kitchen. It's 9.57 a.m. and I think it's time to stop and take some me time. I wanna do some decorating today. I decided that's gonna be a lot of work and a lot of focus. You know what, before I actually get started, baby's taking a nap, and why not start with cleaning and decorating the coffee bar? Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. And it needs a little bit of sprucing up. What the goal is to clean and decorate. I can't leave the kitchen mess like this. We're gonna do that before we start decorating. All right, so you saw my kitchen, the state it's in. It's gotta get cleaned. I feel like I have to clean it twice a day. I don't do it twice a day, but I definitely have to do it before I plan on making this coffee bar look really, really nice. Starting with these flowers, you guys, these flowers I bought and they usually will end up in this space for a day or two before I actually like cut the stems and arrange the flowers in the vase. I know that's not good, but that's what usually happens because I really don't have a lot of time to spend arranging flowers even though I love them. And then, you know what, we gotta wash the entire coffee maker. The entire coffee maker needs wiping off. So that's just a few of the things we're gonna do. Of course, we're gonna end up doing dishes. We wanna make this entire area look really, really nice so that when I come and I make my coffee in the morning, I feel really good about it. So I'm gonna start with bringing over the uh, fall decorations that I have. I don't really think that we're gonna be using this for like Thanksgiving or anything. There just doesn't seem to be like enough of it, but for me making coffee in the morning, I think that this is probably the perfect amount of utensils like to stir the coffee and stuff. So I'll probably use this over there. So I feel like I'm not someone who can just have like orange <laughs> in my home. I don't really prefer orange as like a main decorative color. I just sort of go around it, but I would never have it like by itself, I don't think. I'm just not that into it, but I do like it accented with other colors. So I wanna figure out a way to keep the green around the coffee bar because I got this at um, Target and I really think that these floral picks will be nice accenting the orange and these leaves they lasted pretty well in this tub and i only need a couple like i have a few loose ones here so i think i'm just gonna put this around it So I've got a set of real pumpkins and fake pumpkins. I'm not really sure which ones to leave here. Actually, at this point, it's October 5th. I only have like four of these small real pumpkins and I kind of want to put some in the bathroom. So I don't know. 
Which, what would you guys do? Like the fake metallic orange ones or the real pumpkins? I've always loved like a really nice sign. I've had this one for years. I can't remember where I got, oh, Francesca's. So I got this one at Francesca's a couple of years ago. You can probably find Francesca's in your local mall. And then I also have this brown mug. This is from Dollar Tree, I believe. I've never used it, but I've had it for a while. And I don't think I've ever used it for decor either. So I'm gonna probably be using this here. So there's all of this too. I've got um, like a candle that I like never use. Oh, it does smell nice. It smells like, um, oh my gosh. What does it smell like? Pumpkin? What does this smell like? No, it smells like, I think it's like a Hawaiian breeze candle from like Target, which is not the scent that we're going for right now, but it's very nice. And now there's this um, vase of potpourri. It actually still smells. Wow. Interesting. So let's look at it. <clears throat> so the potpourri. There's like little pumpkins, some acorns. Are these acorns? What are these? If you know what these are, will you leave that down below? First, actually, because I have this fall bouquet that's so pretty, I wanna put it in some water and like put it up because it's big. So depending on how much space it takes up, then I'll know how much decoration after that I can do. I need to actually get the coffee and get the flowers up. So this, this I found at Target. Um, this actually is pretty, it's like light roast. And at first you don't think it's like really, you know, even helping you stay awake, but then give it some time. It sort of kicks in. So this I've been liking, it doesn't taste like too much pumpkin, but it does taste like pumpkin with some spice. So I like this coffee. This is pretty good. Okay, so so far we have all this going, but I do need to take a really quick break because baby food. I love that babies are just so pure and natural and they just eat like basic foods. I think it's the best. And like I was saying, we're gonna do the bouquet first before we try to decorate anything because it's big. Also, I remember I ordered this autumn spice milkshake from Chick-fil-A. It is so yum. That has a lot of sugar in it. So if I was worried about not being able to stay awake, like I don't really have that problem anymore. Um, but I don't know. I still want to set this up and see how it's going to be. Okay. How this looks like this. That's a lot of everything. That's a lot of green. It's just a whole lot. I think I want to simplify this. So let's go ahead. Right. So obviously it's way later in the day and I don't feel like I need a coffee to stay awake. To be honest, that's not really the reason I ever get a coffee, not to like wake up. I just get it because I like a warm beverage. I'm going to sheer some of these. This one actually can be sheared too. I like it leafy, but it's just a little too leafy. This bouquet is like huge. Even though this is a gorgeous color, I feel like I just am not in love with it myself. So I'm actually not even gonna use this. I'm not gonna use this, this, this. Also, these leaves are turning a little bit yellow. This is pretty, but not for me.
it doesn't take up that much space, but also we still have to work on the counter space, like when we're cooking food and things like that. So I actually have a much smaller area to work with. I think most of the things that I have over here are gonna have to fit between the vase and the actual coffee maker, which is like this little space right here. So let's see what we can come up with. These little guys, I don't know if we have room here, but they're so cute. Like while I'm waiting for the coffee to come out, I think that this would be so cute to look at, right? super cute if only I could like affix it here but I don't like want to use a hot glue gun or anything I mean this was literally from Dollar Tree I think that would be so adorable they're not sticky okay we're not gonna do the bow because I just like don't really have a way to do it for the potpourri normally I would like sprinkle it around on the countertop I actually do have to prepare food here and sometimes like I don't know, you guys saw at the beginning of the video, sometimes like baby bottles will pile here until I wash them later in the day. So this, so so that means sometimes dishes end up here. So I'm gonna keep it as clear of things that are not edible as possible. And small pieces like that just mean I'm gonna have to like be sweeping and wiping more than necessary. So the mugs are here. I have cleaned the coffee maker. It needed to be cleaned. I actually need to add water into the back because yeah, I have to do that before it lives here for a while. The sign, you gotta have a sign at the coffee bar. I just, it, it's like going to a coffee shop. Of course, there's gonna be like signage and things that you're supposed to read there. And those are just an assortment of the coffees that I like to drink, some Pete's, some Signature Select, and then also some um, decaf coffee. I really like to have a decaf if it's too late in the day. Pumpkin Pecan and Waffles by White Barn. I just think it's so beautiful. I love the packaging, nice and sleek. When I'm in here in the morning by myself, I'll probably light it for ambiance, but literally it smells so good. You don't have to light it for it to smell good. That's the one thing about a lot of the Bath & Body Works candles, and I really like that. No matter what coffee I have, I always usually will go for a Dunkin' Creamer. So this is the regular one that I drink every day. It's the extra, extra creamy. Real cream and sugar, it's so good. Um, it's not too sweet, That was that's what I was looking for, and also it doesn't break me out. There's a lot of coffee creamers that break me out. I'm broken out right now, I have a few blemishes, but it's not from the creamer. This creamer I've been drinking for like four years straight. The creamy one for like two years and then extra creamy. The store near me started carrying mostly just extra creamy, so I was like, okay, I'll try it. So for a couple of years, and this does not break me out. I drink it on a regular basis, but I'm trying the pumpkin munchkin creamer because why not? It's October, it's fall, and I'm into it. So this has been pretty good. I've had it twice, I think, and it's not like overwhelmingly sweet. Also, I'm very careful with the amount of creamer I put in my coffee anyway. I usually will have creamer, but it's not the only milk that I use in my coffee. I also use some oat milk. Okay, so this part is being recorded after I finished the video. Um, I realized I wanted to use these really pretty harvest napkins. What I'm gonna do is put them back here. So instead of two owls, I have one owl and the napkins. All right guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope that you really enjoyed your stay here. Don't forget to leave a couple of comments 
down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my very next video.